And that brings us to our News Extra program today, brought to you by Gehring Civic Center. I'm Dennis Ernest in for Kevin Mooney. And today we're going to visit about a new uh, venture at Regional West. It's the uh, uh, patient portal, MyRegionalWest.com. And here to talk about it with us today is Elena Galbraith uh, from the hospital and Dr. David Holt, who is president of the Regional West Physicians Clinic. Welcome to both of you. Good morning. Thank you. Nice to have you in on this uh, chilly Monday morning. What's going on, uh, Dr. Holt, with uh, this MyRegionalWest.com? What's it all about? Well, MyRegionalWest.com is a patient portal, and this is something that we've rolled out in the last couple months, and it's another method of contacting and getting information from your physician and uh, other health care providers. Okay, so not only the hospital itself, but the, the, the doctors in the physician's clinic? Yeah, if, if you go to your uh, physician uh, for a visit, within a day, actually within 24 hours, you should be able to go online, uh, get the results of your visit, get the patient plan, and if laboratory tests were ordered, you'd also be able to get results of those online any time of the day, so you're not limited by having to call during office hours and uh, getting put in uh, some kind of a wait for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Elena, can I make appointments on this site or check on appointments that I might have scheduled and forgot what time I'm supposed to be there? You can request an appointment time, and like Dr. Holt mentioned, someone would should get back to you within one to two business days. Typically, it happens much faster than that. Mm-hmm. So if you want to try and squeeze in on Wednesday, just shoot us a message, and we'll get back to you. Okay. And... What is required then to get this set up? You're going to have to have some information on me before I can log in, right? Yeah, if all, all you have to do now is go on to MyRegionalWest.com, and it'll lead you through the steps of setting up a patient portal. It is secure, so you have to have a password, and you'll give the security questions like you do when you fill out other uh, online sites. Uh, then uh, once you've done that and accomplished that, you'll be able to log on. And there'll be part of the portal is called secure messaging. So if you if you want to send a message, you can do that through that method. So you really don't have to use your um, uh, email address. But if you haven't signed up and you've been a patient, we may be sending you a reminder to go on and establish the portal. Okay. What's the, what's the big advantage from your standpoint at the Physicians Clinic for you folks? Well, I think there's several advantages. Uh, for one thing, if you go to the office and you have a visit, uh, all of your information is going to be available to you, including your medication list, the plan that the doctor gave you. Uh, you it would have uh, family history, social history, all those things that are available. So if you happen to be traveling and run into a health problem somewhere else, they can go online and get a very accurate update of your medical record. Uh, You can link that to other family members. So if you have children, uh, the same thing would apply. And so like emergency contacts and those kind of informations, I would imagine, would be helpful to... Yes, and you can go on and update information yourself. That doesn't automatically go into your patient record at the office, you'd have to discuss that with the doctor, but you can keep a very good tabs of what's going on in your medical life. So if I weighed in last time, six months ago, and I saw the doctor and wondered, what have I done since? I could log in and check what I was six months ago? Yeah, I think you probably could. <laughs> Blood pressure, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. What What is the advantage for the patient? I gave you a couple of little examples, mm-hmm. but uh, Elena, what would be some advantages to a patient, do you think? Well, I think that it's a tool that has all your information in one spot, like Dr. Holt was saying. If I have allergies, I can log in and update my allergies. I can update my medication lists if I have started taking something new. Obviously, you want to discuss that with your provider when you actually have a visit. But it's a tool for you to use to manage your own health. Um, it's free. It's out there for anyone to use. You just sign on up. Yeah, we really need people to log on and, and do this. Um, it's uh, The patient portal is something that's part of our meaningful use, and that's which is part of the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. So most of the, well, the physician's offices are really required to establish something like this. It's expensive to do. It's difficult to do. 
but I think it is a very good tool. But we're monitored, and if people don't do this, there can actually be penalties to the hospital and the clinic uh, from the federal government. I see. Wow. All right, well, we'll come back, talk more about this in just a moment. For your next special event, how about a beautiful venue with 21 years' experience? How about pulled pork? garlic sausage, ribeye steak sandwiches, or strawberry spinach salad being cooked by the meat shop for 31 years. The large flowing chocolate fountain could top off your perfect evening. Call West Nebraska's premier multifunction facility, the Gearing Civic Center, at 436-6888 or gearingciviccenter.com. And like us on Facebook. On the News Extra program today, I'm Dennis Ernest in for... Kevin Moody and uh, our guests are Dr. David Holt, President of Regional West Physicians Clinic, and Elena Galbraith, who is with uh, the hospital uh, as well. And we're visiting about MyRegionalWest.com, the new patient uh, portal uh, that is out there for folks to uh, uh, log in, get signed up, and uh, utilize from uh, a variety of um, places or or wherever you might be in the world, I guess you could log in and, and access it. Uh, Dr. Holt, this is something that uh, people of all ages can and are using, right? That's right. You know, some people are reluctant to hand out their email address because the next thing you know, you're yeah. getting all kinds of spam. Sure. But, you know, that won't happen from our offices. So I don't think you should be worried if we ask you for your email address. You don't actually have to do that. You can go online and set up the portal. But if we have your address, we can send you a reminder. But we've know because uh, we send out... Uh, patient information or education uh, methods, one of which is EMI, and if you, uh, it's called EMMI. So if you're a patient and you're scheduled for surgery, we may assign you uh, some uh, educational materials online. So you can go online, you can learn about the reasons for surgery, how it's done, and the risks. So if we have your email address or if we can contact you the, through the portal, we might be able to send you all types of patient education, such as uh, you know, why we're treating uh, di- your diabetes, uh, how, what is the best diet for your diabetes, or what is the risks and complications of your medication. So it's a tool that can cover a lot of things that we don't always have time to cover when you're in the office. And people of all ages do this. Uh, I recently gave my mother an iPad. She's 87, and she's learning how to use it. Mm-hmm. You know, we set up uh, Internet in her home, and she's actually finding it kind of fun and challenging, and she's FaceTiming with her grandchildren. Now. Sure. Well, that's the other thing. Now, in terms of asking general questions about health, can I... Uh, ask a, a question, is this going to replace the office visit someday? Or? No, I don't see that happening at all, although it may save you an office it visit might, sometime yeah. if you have a question that can be answered or or uh, some type of an adjustment mm-hmm. in your treatment can be done just uh, online. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, uh, telemedicine is something that is developing in the country, and we're dabbling in that here uh, because of the distances involved in our region, if a person can, Oshkosh, for instance, wants to talk to his doctor, he might be able to log on in their hospital and visit with our doctor here. Yeah. That's not part of the patient portal, right? Yeah. but that's something that's happening. That's something that's coming along. But if you have general questions, or I guess fairly specific questions, too, you can certainly ask. You right? certainly could, yeah. yes. Okay. MyRegionalWest.com. Check it out, huh? Yes. Okay. Well, very good. Thanks for coming by, Dr. David Old. President of Regional West Physicians Clinic and Elena Galbraith with Regional West. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. All right. Goodbye.